So some of you will want to use the uh, IPython notebook via a software installation called Python XY. This is a full OS installation. It's a kitchen sink type of installation. Uh, currently it's only a 32-bit installation. It'll run on a 64-bit just fine. Uh, and it's also ex very, very large. And it's going to take a while to download and it's also going to take a while to install. But the upside is a very big upside. It's got everything you probably would ever want or need for scientific computing. And it goes to great lengths to make it very accessible uh, for those using Windows. So to get started you want to search for Python XY or you can click on the link or enter the web address www.pythonxy.com you'll see uh, download links click on the download links and that will bring up a downloads page and the downloads page will have a, a current release box with three links. Any one of those links will begin the download of Python XY. Now you're going to have to wait for it to download. Uh, it's 510 megabytes and that's very large. Uh, it can take anywhere from 20 minutes to four hours. You can see here it estimates we have 36 minutes left. Now once it's completed then you'll see the icon down here. You can double click to begin the installation or you could click show all downloads and go to the download folder and launch the install from there. Now once you uh, double click on the installer you'll probably see a uh, run box that uh, dims the screen and asks if you really want to run this program so click run on the security warning and then click I agree on the license agreement which is the first thing that comes up in the setup. I highly recommend that you change from custom to full installation on the choose components page. The custom is 803.9 megabytes and that's not significantly smaller than the full install at 1.2 gigabytes. Now once you've done that you'll click on next and then you'll click on next when you get install location, next when you get to start menu folder and it begins installing. And again it's going to take a while before it's finished the installation. Now once it has completed the installation to launch the IPython notebook server you click the start icon then you click on Python XY in the start menu then under Python XY you click command prompts and under command prompts you click IPython notebook server. Now what you're going to see is actually two things that will launch. The first thing you're going to see is a local server. It's just a Windows uh, command box. And the second thing you're going to see is a browser that opens up to this URL 127.0.0.1 with the port as 8888. You can copy and paste that URL into any browser. Uh, I highly recommend you do not use Internet Explorer. Again, do not use Internet Explorer. But if, as in this case, uh, Chrome was your default, you could open Firefox, paste the URL, and it works just fine. And you can see that here. I'm now in Firefox. Now, when you first get started, you'll see a list of the notebooks you have available to you. And right now, the notebook list is empty because we just installed it. So what we do is we click and drag onto this uh, notebook list empty. That gives us a place where we could change the name if we wanted to and an upload button. Once we click upload, this will turn into a link and tell us that it's been uploaded. Then, let's say you wanted to upload another one. So, for instance, the notebook tour is here. And suppose we wanted to get the getting started with PyLab. So we drag that onto this area. And once we've done that, we can change the name here if we want to. We click Upload, and it changes into a link like that one. 
Now to open this notebook, you simply click on the link. And in another tab, you'll see the notebook. Now an important part of the notebook is the save icon, which is right underneath the name file. And you'll want to hit that often. This does not save automatically. So what's actually going on is the server is just like an internet server. It's a server that's being interfaced by a browser, in this case where you're actually seeing the, the notebook, and that, that for all intents and purposes just like what you do when you work on the internet. The server, however, is interfacing with the Python kernel. So you're doing browser type of activities and executing Python via this intermediate server. So there are several consequences of that. Uh, once you upload a copy, it's not going to be the same as the one you started with. Uh, and you'll have to download uh, from your local server to your machine. So it doesn't work on what you actually upload. It works on its own copy, and you have to download. Another nice thing is that the IPython server is separated from Python, so you can actually stop and restart Python. You can start a whole bunch of Python kernels uh, as a cluster, and there are these things called magics. So if you type percent magic in an input cell and shift enter, you'll get more information about the very nice magic system.